Greetings, this is M squared, and we are going to talk about finding the y-intercept and the axis of symmetry of a parabola or quadratic equation. Notice up here in our little box it says how to find a y-intercept. We let x equal 0 and solve for y. And this is our formula for finding the axis of symmetry. And remember, the a is the coefficient in front of the x squared, or the quadratic term. The b is the coefficient in front of the x term, and the c is the constant. Oh, there's no c in this one. <laughs> That's for later, sorry. Okay, so remember, f of x is just y in disguise. And whenever we find the y-intercept, we let x equal zero and solve for y. So I'm gonna rewrite this equation, but this time I'm going to put a zero in for x. Because when I do that, I'm finding my y-intercept. So zero squared is zero, six times zero is zero. So zero plus zero minus three is negative three. So my y-intercept is negative three. The axis of symmetry is x equals the opposite of b, our b is 6, over 2 times a, our a is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, so I have negative 6 over 2, and negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, so our axis of symmetry is negative 3. Keep in mind, the axis of symmetry is a line, it's not a point, so it's we have to have that equation, x equals negative three. It's a vertical line at negative three. Okay, next one, we're gonna set each x equal to zero. And if I do that, and look at that, I forgot to put a little plus sign there, sorry about that. And if I do that, I get zero minus zero, because zero squared is zero, times negative three is zero, and six times zero is zero. So I have zero minus zero plus 12. So my um, y-intercept, is 12. Now this is a point, if you wanted to make it a point, sometimes teachers are okay with you saying y equals negative 3, sometimes they want a, the coordinates of the point. And since we put 0 in for x, our x is 0, and we got y equals 12 when we did that, so our point would be 0, 12, just like up here it would be 0, negative 3. So you just have to find out which way the book or your teacher wants it. That is the y-intercept. So to find my axis of symmetry, I'm going to say y, I mean x equals the opposite of b over 2a. So a was negative 3 and b was negative 6, so it's the opposite of that. So two negatives make a positive when they're right next to each other. And so now I have 6 over negative 6, which equals negative 1. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. And on to the last one y-intercept, we make x 0, so I get 0 plus 5, so I get y equals 5, or if you wanted to do the coordinates again, you could say 0, 5. And for the axis of symmetry, I get negative b over 2a, and that's just 0. You can't really take the opposite of 0. It's just 0 divided by 2, which equals 0. So in this case, my axis of symmetry is at x equals 0. And remember, axis of symmetry is that line, vertical line, that goes right down the middle of the parabola, right through the vertex. If it was upside down, it would look like that. So it's that line that on both sides um, you have symmetry of the parabola. They're the same on both sides. So that's a, a nice thing when you start graphing parabolas. That's always the thing you find first. So you can put that axis of symmetry in the middle of your t-chart if you're making it a chart of points to graph. So. Good luck with that. M squared, signing out.